Hello and welcome. Today I am going to show you how to use an OBD2 sensor like this one so that you can set up digital gauges on your phone for basically whatever you want. So in my case, I use my vehicle for towing, so I wanted to know what the coolant temperature was and what the transmission oil temperature was, which there's no gauge for in my vehicle. So that's what I use this for and it worked outstanding. So we're going to go over what you need, how you set it up, and then finally, if it's not showing you the sensor that you're looking for, I'll show you how to fix that because that's a problem that I had. So let's get started. The first thing that you're going to need, of course, is an OBD2 sensor. These are very inexpensive now. This particular one costs $12. I'll put a link to it down below. What you need to know are there's two ways that these come. They're either in Bluetooth, which is what this one is, or they're in Wi-Fi. And I'm going to recommend that you get a Bluetooth one. And the reason for that is that your phone can have multiple Bluetooth devices connected. It's very good at handling that. Um, that's not the case if you go with the Wi-Fi one. So I just recommend that you get the Bluetooth. So once you got this thing, the first thing you're going to do is plug it in. If you're sitting in your driver's seat, somewhere around your left knee, you're going to see a plug that looks like that. And you're just going to slide this thing on. And if it has lights on it, like this one does, they're going to light up so you know it's working. Now, the second thing you're going to need is an app on your phone to be able to connect to this thing and actually make sense of the data that it's getting. There's a whole bunch of apps you can use. The one that I'm using is called Torque. And there's two Torque apps. It's a Torque Lite, which is free. And there's Torque Pro, which is going to cost you five bucks. I went ahead and bought Pro because, you know, I thought it was worth it. So get whichever one you want. And the first time that you open the Torque app, it's going to go through a little setup where it tries to find one of these. So it's going to show you all the devices that it finds. Go ahead and click on the one you have. It's going to want the default password for it. This one is 1234, so I entered that in, torque connected, and everything just started working. So once you've done this once, you never have to do it again. Uh, torque will just automatically connect to the device. So let's go take a look at the torque app, and I'll show you how to set up a custom gauge. All right, so when you first open up torque, this is what you're going to see. And we want to click on the real-time information icon. And if it's connected to your OBD2 sensor, you're going to see that all these gauges are already working. But if you want to create a custom gauge, you can swipe to the side and you can go find an empty spot. And if I click and hold, I will get this and I can click add display. Now this gives me a list of different kinds of displays I can pick. I'm just going to click on digital display. And these are all the sensors that are in your car that you can choose from. And you'll see some of them are working, some of them aren't. Um, you're going to go in here and you're going to look for whatever it is that you want to create a gauge for. So in my case, I went and I looked for transmission oil temperature. So I came all the way down here. When I, when I found it, it looked like this. And it wasn't lit up, which means I couldn't use it. So if this happens to you, this is how you fix it. You go back to the home screen, hit back, back, back. Okay. Then I'm going to click on the, uh, this gear icon for settings, go into settings. Then I'm going to click on manage extra PIDs slash sensors. Now in here, you're not going to see all these yet, but if you click on these three dots in the upper right corner, you can click add predefined set. Now these are other car brands that you can, you can add. So my vehicle is a GMC. So I clicked on the Pontiac GM Opal Vauxhall one. And what that does is it added in all of these GM specific codes. So now if I go back to create a gauge, hold this down again, Add display, pick what kind. Okay, if I scroll all the way up here to the top, you'll see that I have all these ones that start with GM. These are the ones that it added. Now, if I find the one that says GM and transmission, there'll be a bunch of them I can pick from. Let's see, torque, 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 torque. Transmission, you can see one, two, three. I got three different transmission fluid temperatures. Um, they're not lit up right now because my OBD2 sensor isn't plugged in, but if it was, I would be able to see which ones of these are working and I could just pick one. And that's how I got this to work. So if you run into that problem, 
this is how you fix it. But anyway, you just pick what you want, what size, and then you can move it around and place it. And there you have your new gauge. So that's how it's done. If you liked this video or you learned anything, please hit like and subscribe. That would help me out greatly. Thank you so much.